Hey everyone, so it is late at night and I am not, <laughs> I am uh, not camera ready or even presenting myself in public ready because you guys know I'll like, go out without makeup but I mean my hair is greasy and um, um, yeah I'm just, I've, my face is greasy, i kind of just been in my house all day and so I'm not, uh, I'm not camera ready or uh, I prepared you a video because it's late at night. It is about not, oh gosh, probably about 10 o'clock now and I lay in bed and I check my emails and I was watching um, Dr. Phil and this is from a couple weeks ago. Um, but I save them on my DVR for nighttime and I just put one on kind of as background noise and um, so I just, um, I just got about halfway through watching it. Um, and he's talking about cyberbullying and internet trolls. And, um, you know, Dr. Phil is someone that I, that I admire. Um, he, you know, I have issues with TV hosts a lot of times because, you know, they're just fed lines and they just have to get through the show and they don't really seem to care that often. Dr. Phil, I think, is a little bit of an exception where he seems to maybe take more of an interest or has more of a personal connection with the topics that he talks about. And he's talking about cyberbullying today and internet trolling and how he tests it. Um, and how, oh, that's just, all right, well, there we go. Okay, there we go. Um, how he detests it and how, um, and he, he was saying some really powerful words. I, if the, if the, the, the episode's online, uh, on his website or something, I'll try and find it for you. But he said some powerful words about internet trolls, how they are anonymous scum of the internet. They are these creeps who just drop all this information to torment their target. Those were his words. Um, uh, kind of quoting it. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, I didn't really want to edit this, but... Um, yeah, so... <clears throat> anyways, I got just really caught up and emotional because I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while, but I don't know. I think a video like this, you have to have, um, it takes a lot out of you. It takes a lot of emotion. It takes a lot of like realness, I guess, and authenticity, I guess. Um, because whenever I, you know, try and sit down and film a video and I have my makeup and hair all done and perfect, you know, it just doesn't, I just, I don't have the passion to make it because I'm not, I'm not feeling it and I don't want to like have to feel it because I do try and block out um, my personal internet trolling and then other people's internet trollings and I get emails and uh, tweets and messages all the time about this and I just thought I should do a video and, um, you know, first of all, if you're getting cyber bullied, because um, he's, at the opening of the show he talks about these young girls like 14 to 17, um, taking their own lives because of, um, because of cyberbullying, and it really sucks, because you guys, you guys know I deal with mine, and I put myself out on the internet, and so, like, in a way, I, I do expect to get it, but some of these girls are just, like, living their lives at school, and so, if you guys are getting cyberbullied, um, you know, I'm, I just, I can't, I couldn't even imagine when you're just trying to live your life getting cyberbullied, I just, I couldn't imagine that, and I'm so sorry for that. But as Dr. Phil said, and I feel like this is an important episode all teens should watch, like, they're anonymous people, just miserable people. Like, you have to be miserable to want to torment people you know, people you don't know, just to torment people relentlessly. And you guys, I've had, there was, there was a girl on Twitter, I still don't know who she is, but, and FYI, if someone is cyberbullying you to the point of, you just can't take it anymore. Well, one, tell someone. But two, you know, authorities can get involved and track IP addresses so easily. Um, you know, it's what people do in, in, in you know, in um, different divisions of your local law enforcement. I mean, people do this for the living. It's really easy to track IP addresses. Um, you know, the authorities have all that just at the tip of their, at the, their fingertips, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I've had to have that happen a couple times because some people are just relentless. And the fact that they're anonymous makes them cowards, but also makes them threatening because you don't know who it is. And that makes it all the more scary and it puts you on edge. And I get it. And when you're young and you're not asking for this kind of attention by putting yourself out there, even if you are putting yourself out there on Instagram, Twitter, um, YouTube, whatever it is, nobody deserves this. You know, um, I...
trying to think here how to choose these words, but I, for one, a lot of people call me an internet troll, but I'm not really, when I used to do trolling videos where I would say stuff to get a rise out of people, um, one, I don't stand by that anymore. I don't condone doing that anymore. I don't feel good doing that anymore. It's, I think that is definitely a form of bullying and I don't really stand behind it and it's it's difficult when you do funny videos or you try to be funny you know sometimes insulting people comes out funny and that's I guess one thing and I guess that is a form of bullying but you know it's I don't I think comedians in general don't do anything relentlessly to viciously hurt someone there's usually that comedy factor behind it but I don't I don't really know where that was going more so just I'm not anonymous about it um, and I, I, I'm not relentless. I don't, I don't go when I try to attack people and ruin people's lives. And I think that's what this internet trolling and cyberbullying is. When you put out, you dig for information that people don't put out themselves and you try and destroy a person's life and ruin their lives. Um, you know, a lot of these teen girl issues were, uh, you know, someone took a picture of a girl passed out at a party naked and put it out on the internet. And, you know, they're talking about Amanda Todd. And I just, I don't understand it. I it, it, it makes me, like, actually upset. And it makes me really sad because it's something that is so easily avoided. Like, people's lives, um, people's lives could be saved. And, um, I just, it makes me, I don't know, it just makes me actually, actually really sad it just makes me really sad because with everything going on in this world and there are some things we just we can't control I mean we can't we, can, we can't control a lot of things but this is something that can be controlled and can be avoided it, just people being mean to other people other humans and a lot of times young girls innocent girls that are not hurting anyone I, I just I don't get it and um so I wanted to make this video and I I, um, you know, I think websites, you know, should be shut down. The ones that are just posting cruel stuff to be cruel, you know, like the dirty, like Google Gossip, or I think some of those sites just take things way too far, and even if it's not taken too far, digging up people's personal information and personal lives and finding photos that those people don't put out themselves, trying to incriminate them, emailing employers, like, um, just being vicious and bringing up pictures and mocking people if there's, if there's not a great picture of someone online, like it just, it, it does hurt. And I'm going to speak from personal experience again, but like, you know, I don't understand trying to just bring someone down, just like dedicating so much of your life, trying to bring someone down. Like I don't under, I don't understand it. And I, but what I do understand is the depression it does cause. And I'm, I've said this before, I'm a 26 year old woman that has gone through regular bullying in high school and I feel stronger because of it. But having said that, the hate online gets to me sometimes and I'm strong and I put myself out there and it, I get it. And I couldn't imagine being 14 and getting this amount of hate. It's just 15, 16, 17. It's just, it's, it hurts my heart to think that people, other people have to read these things about themselves. Um, and so, you know, I really think there needs to be something done with outside sites like that. Now with social media, you can block and you can report. I encourage you to block and report people that are harassing you or making you feel threatened. Even on Twitter, if someone's, uh, there was, I, there was same person that made two accounts on Twitter because they kept getting, a Twitter kept disabling them because they were harassing. Um, every tweet was to me and to people I was tweeting saying, you know, calling me a dwarf, calling me a whale. Like, I don't think being called, a lot of people like to make fun of me because they say I have dwarf features or I look like I'm downs and I don't even know why that's an insult. I feel, it almost makes me feel more bad for them that they're saying that as a derogatory to put me down sort of thing. Um, as if dwarfism or being borns with downs is something people should be made fun of. Because even if I did have it, I don't get the point of that's like as if that's something negative. Um, but at the point of this video, and it's getting all over the place, and I'm so and I do apologize for that because I really wanted um, I really wanted this to be a clear message um, for those that are getting cyberbullied. Is um, it's not worth your time. It's definitely not worth your life. Um, 
what other people think of you in these comments. And I know when it's relentless and it feels like they're just not giving you a break. And you feel like it'll never end. You know, trolls and people online that are trying to make your life terrible, it will end eventually and it will get better eventually. Um, whether you take steps to do it or something else is going to happen in their already miserable lives that's going to make them, that's going to take them away from whatever it is. Um, and you just got to be strong enough to get through it. But you don't have to get through it alone. You tell somebody. If you're getting cyberbullied, tell someone. Tell an adult. Tell a friend. Uh, report it to the social media site. Um, report it to your authorities if you feel threatened, if you feel scared, if you, if someone just won't stop. I mean, that's stalker behavior. And there's, like, again, there's departments that take care of this specifically. You don't need that in your life. And, um, you know, and it can be overwhelming. Like, where to start, how to get, how to stop all this. And the first thing I advise is stop reading your comments. And if you can, stop the social media thing. Um, um, shut it down, you know. Don't go on your Facebook. Block it if you have to. Delete delete it if you have to. Um, but your mental health and your stability is more important. And if someone's bringing you down, and I'm just going to shut this off because I was just going to keep doing that, isn't it? Oh, not that it's shutting off. Okay, I don't know what's happening. But, um, it's not worth, uh, your, your life, your time even. But, um, gosh, it just makes me feel, it makes me feel so bad. And I guess it's just a plea now. And I plead, pled before with people. And, not, and I'm not just saying me, but just in general, if you're watching this, you know, I know... I know what depression feels like, and I know sometimes when you're really, I, I hated myself before my life. I've hated, I've hated my life. I hated the way I've looked at my life, and I feel, and I felt at times that it was easier to bring other people down during those times. So I know what it's like to be the bullied and the bully, to, to say stuff to hurt other people in your time of weakness and depression, but you're not helping your cause by bringing other people down. Um, there's a certain energy you're putting out there when you're saying negative things about other people that's just, it's just not going to help your situation at all. And I read these sites and I read these comments of, of trolls that'll say, oh, I'm perfectly happy with my life. I'm skinny and pretty and I just, it only takes me two minutes to write a comment. Y you know, that's not true. I mean, that's complete bullshit whenever you see that. People who take time to just relentlessly attack people have some have issues they just have issues and we all have issues but those are deep rooted issues that has n that have nothing to do with you um and the fact that most of the time they're anonymous will show what cowards they truly are if you have something to say to someone you say it to their face you know what i mean um but i just god i feel so i'm just watching this and i just feel so helpless and i just i don't know i don't know what it, the, the solution is other than stop, <laughs> just stop the bullying. Oh my God. Like there's just so many other things in this world that we as all as human beings have to deal with. And this is just petty, petty stuff. And I just, gosh, just some of these are grown ass adults cyber bullying these kids. Just, just stop. And if your kids cyberbullying other kids, just stop. Like, it's just bad for everyone. And yes, it's bad for the person you're targeting, but it's going to be ten times worse for you, I guarantee. And when you spew negativity, it just it just all comes back to you. So just, just stop. <laughs> you guys, cyberbullying sucks. It sucks for everyone involved. It sucks for the people who are bullying because they're depressed and they're making themselves... They're digging themselves into a more negative, darker hole. It sucks for the people being bullied because you have no idea what that person's going through. Um, even me, that puts my a lot of my life on the internet. You don't really know what I'm going through. Even if I share everything with you, there might be if I share ninety nine percent with you, there might be a one percent that's that I can't share with you, and you you don't know. You don't know someone else's story, and 
Um, there's there's a really popular meme that meme that goes around that says like you know the girl you called fat she's been starving herself for weeks. Um, the boy you called dirty for not taking a bath like his father lost his job and can't pay the water bill. You know like there's all these different memes about you just don't know what other people are going through. And um, I just wish people would be nicer to each other. I'm not by any means a perfect nice person. I will say jokes for humor for my videos and just, you know. And I, and I try and st I'm trying to stop, you know, and it's it's I think it's normal to take jabs at people. I take jabs at myself. It's, you know, I make videos. It's very, you know, I I I do expect it, you know, to a certain degree and SNL and all those shows that parody celebrities, I get that. But uh, people who are just living their lives, college students just posted Instagram, high school students just having fun on Twitter. It's like Facebook. Like, jeez. Like, what is this world coming to? I just don't, I just don't understand. And my heart, my heart truly feels for you guys if you're, if you're being cyberbullied. And I get messages like this all the time from people, just regular people just trying to live their lives. And I just... I just, I wish I had an answer. I wish I had an answer. I wish I had a, a solution. And, um, it just needs to stop. And I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what else to say, but just maybe, I don't know. I don't know, but it can start with you. I feel like we can all make a change and make a difference if we just try to be nicer. And, and me too, me included. Um, like I said, I've made some, um, You guys, it is uh, getting late, so I should probably wrap this video up, and it's probably been all over the place, and I'm sorry if I didn't really help or speak to anyone. I'm not always eloquent. I'm not always articulate with what I want to say, and I felt like I had so much more to say and so much emotion, but honestly, I'm just exhausted. Um, because, um, I don't even know, I mean, I don't really, I don't really like to talk about it or put attention onto it, because sometimes when you put attention onto the trolls, the scum of the internet, you know, um, they like that, as they say, don't feed the trolls, um, but, um, you know, it was, it was, these, this past month in particular, it's been really getting to me, um, because people have been calling me fat for so long, uh, fat, dwarf, all these things, and it was in downs, and some of my family, they would attack, and it, you know, they've been saying it for so long, and then I think you read it, I think you read it, and you start to, I don't know if you start to believe it, but it just gets you in this spiral, this downward spiral, and it, not gonna lie, it's made me really depressed, and, um, because of it, I kind of let myself go, because I think, okay, well, there's, there is no hope for me, because that's what I've been saying, like, there's no hope for her, and, uh, like, I, I just, um, like I said, I just can't imagine having all this at a young, even younger age, you know, um, because even, God, and I, you know, when I look back at pictures of when I was 15 and, you know, I post them sometimes on Instagram and Twitter, me and my little, like, cheerleading outfit, I just remember getting called fat so much as a kid. At that age, I guess, and as a teenager at 15, at these ages, that girls are killing themselves. And I remember getting called fat by, you know, my classmates, and it just hurt so bad. And I would cry at night, and I would, be, I would just, I would just be like, why me? Like, why? You know, I, I didn't think about their problems. I was thinking, just, it had to be me. It had to be me being, and I would say, I would say to God, like, you make me fat? Why did you make me ugly? Because that's what people called me, and it didn't just start to believe it. And I had to hold it in, and I didn't really tell anyone. And that was the worst thing. I really wish I would have told somebody, because I had to deal with it on my own. And you don't have to deal with it on your own, you know? Because 
because chances are you know someone who's gone through it. Chances are you know an adult who, who has gone through it and they can help you through it and they can be there for you. But I look back at 15 year old me and I think, oh my god, I was I was beautiful and I and it was God, I was like probably like 130, like so skinny, like so thin for what I am now and even as a kid, I mean I was I it's normal it was like a normal size. I just you know, it's people just wanted to be cruel to me for some reason. And you you don't know that reason, you know, you don't know. Sometimes you're just the target. I don't, I, you know, sometimes it's jealousy. Sometimes it's because you may have something they want, whether it's materialistic or smarts or talent, you know, and you don't know what the reason is that they target you. And I just, I guess at the end of the day, this, this internet, this social media thing is bringing on this whole new bout of cyberbullying to an extreme level where people you don't know can hurt you like this. And I couldn't imagine having the world literally be on me at 15. Because, gosh, if I had to read the stuff I read now about me at 15 years old, I just... I just don't even want to think about that. Just so sad. I it actually kind of hurts. Because as much as I can sit here and say, don't let their words affect you. Be strong. Be stronger. And, and those are great words. At the end of the day, words do hurt. They they just do. And the only way is for people to stop saying it. But are people going to ever stop being mean and be bullies? Probably not. But when when is enough enough? Like, when is it going to be? When is it going to start dwindling? I just feel like we're going to have to start seeing that decline eventually of people being mean. And maybe just enough people talking about it. And cyberbullying and all these these girls is death. Maybe they don't have to be in vain. Maybe people will will see the consequences. Will see see the world just getting worse, and then eventually we're gonna have to make a difference. And you know what? I I do have hope for. I do have hope for this future generation, the ones being bullied and cyberbullied right now. I um. I think you guys are, are being smart, are being hip to it because you're seeing the effects it has on your friends and other people in this world. And I think I think you're seeing that you can make a change and you can make a difference and you can. The age range now, the 14 to 17 year olds, if you can just start being nicer to each other, you know, as old folk, we're going to just either die off or um you know go get jobs in the real world where we won't have time to just be sitting on the computer bullying people but the 14 to 17 year olds you guys are setting the you're gonna set this 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 bar for ending this cyber bullying and bullying in real school if you know someone who's getting cyber bullied or you know someone who's cyber bullying someone else you you can stand up and say you know stop it just don't be their friend just you know stick up don't get into fights on social media but you know stick up for your friends report people and just say hey it's not cool maybe they'll retaliate back against you but if enough people stick up for someone and say hey that's not cool and don't encourage that cyber bully you know eventually you know he what is he gonna do go attack everybody on your comments you know no i mean eventually that bully's gonna just get tired of it like i said I'm just going to reiterate, if you are getting cyberbullied, tell someone please and report to social media, to authorities. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a thing that everyone's cracking down on. It's a, it's a major thing. Don't think it's too little, too minor, too self-indulgent of you to tell someone, um, because, you know, you could not only benefit yourself, but you could benefit other people and have them stop from being cyberbullied. And, um, gosh, you guys, I, I feel it. You know, I feel your, I feel your pain. I feel your struggle. I've known it my entire life. And I still get it to this day. Having said that, when you get older, um, 
you you learn to let things roll off your back a little more. I'm just in a very uh, strange place in my personal life that these things are affecting me more so than they usually do. Um, but I've gone through this before. I've gone through this kind of stage before, and I know that I know always what I need to do to get out of it, which is um, keeping myself busy with projects and work, which is what I'm doing. And um, just moving on and upward. And I'm finally healing and getting better because I had to take my own advice and I said it for so long. I just had to stop reading comments and stop reading certain sites. I had kept saying it, saying it, and then, you know, honestly, I got to this, the, this very low point where when I go on to go click on something or read a comment, I stopped because I just knew I, this the pain I felt, the daggers. And I was working on steps to bettering myself, so I said, no, you're not going to go backwards because I've been on this now for 10 days, this journey of self-healing again to, to heal myself back up to where I was. And I'm not going to let, as Dr. Phil puts it, the scum of the internet, anonymous cowards, internet trolls, bring down and erase all this hard work I've done on myself. I can't, and I don't want them to do that to you either. So if you've been damaged and you've been hurt by these people, by these internet trolls, stop reading it right now. Only only post what makes you feel good. Only go on the internet to people's pages that makes you feel good. You have to work on yourself. And if at all, if you can help it at all, just don't even go on it. And uh, live your life, better yourself. And when you're doing that, and you're showing that they don't affect you, because I've been showing too much that other people's words are affecting me, and that's what they thrive on, that's what they love. Once you start bettering yourself and moving forward and just living your life just continue to live your life because that's going to be your biggest strength and the greatest revenge on those people because taking your own life they win taking you know hurting yourself um self-harm um self-sabotage which is me i do that a lot where i i feel pressure in something, I gain weight, I eat a lot because I like to self-sabotage my the way I feel, my energy. I'm like, I, I need to be more sluggish. I need to be more depressed. Uh, I need to be weighed down more. That's my personal thing. I mean, everyone has their own self-sabotage, but, um, you know, don't let others win because this is your life and you are meant to live an extraordinary life and you're you're very special. And, um, God, this girl is such a guy. It makes me so sad. I honestly am probably going to have, oh my God, my nose is like running, sorry. <laughs> I'm honestly going to have nightmares now about those, those, those girls and their families because, God, they were so pretty, so beautiful. It's just, oh God, if only, like, oof. It makes me so angry so angry that there are people that are just so mean. How long is this? Oh my gosh, I am literally just like on this thing. I'm sorry guys, I just needed to vent about it. Um, just, just stop the sign for bullying. Um, you know, stop it. And if you're doing it, stop. If you know someone doing it, stop them. If you're the one getting cyber bullied, just stop reading it, stop feeding into it, I'm gonna go to bed, and, um, I'm just, I love you guys, and if you feel like there's no one to talk to, I am here, I don't love reading YouTube comments, because they can be very cruel, but, I do check my Twitter quite often, because there's quite a love on there, and because I say that, that's where that, one troll kept making Twitter accounts, but the great thing about Twitter is you can block, and if they keep making accounts, you can suspend them, and then if they keep making accounts, you can contact authorities to trace their IP, know who it is, and they cannot make an account anymore to hurt you. I digress, but Twitter is usually full of love, and I really like it, so feel free to tweet me. Um, send me a message on Facebook. Um, 
and I will try and respond to as much as I can. And please don't take it personally if I can't respond right away or the quickest. Um, but I, I do care and I do try and read as much as I can. And um, I just I pray for you guys. And I say this on Twitter all the time, but I'm going to say it to you guys. I pray for your happiness and your prosperity and your health and goodwill in this world. You guys have given me a life. I've said this numerous times too, but you guys have given me a life that I could never have dreamed of for myself. You've given me confidence that I couldn't build on my own. And you've given me happiness that I can never repay. The amount of love from people that I don't know personally, but I feel in my heart we connect somehow. I, you guys have blessed me in so many ways, and I just, I thank you for giving me happiness and giving me a life dream come true. I'm truly fulfilled because of you guys, because I'm a creative person and I love to entertain and that this gets to be my life. I thank you for that. And I pray, I swear to goodness every night I pray, that you guys will find your same dreams fulfilled and the same happiness that you have granted me and the same confidence in yourself, in your mind, in your body, and your ability on what you can do. Because you can do anything and you guys have showed me that I can do anything and hopefully in turn I can inspire you to show that because I can do anything, you can do anything you want. And that is the truth and just as long as you don't let the bullies win. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much much for watching from the bottom of my heart and I just I just really love you guys and know that if you feel like no one loves you know that I love you because there's a connection you watch me for a reason we are in each other's lives for a reason and so hold on to that hold on to that connection and love and light I'm not super talented or special in any sort of way other than I'm here to give you guys motivation, hope, and love. And, um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much. And, um, I hope you have a good night. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And be nice to each other.